hello viewers welcome back to machine art channel and if you're joining us for the first time welcome today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to download data from nasa giovanni are you carrying out a scientific research and you want to download uh, some form of data from nasa giovanni data like aerosol data data like evapore transpiration and so on and so forth there are many data you can download from nasa giovanni so i want to give you a guide i'm not teaching you how to download a particular data but i want to take you round up teach you how to get started teach you to maneuver this website very very well all right so if you want to download a data from the nasa giovanni website a website belonging to nasa then all you need to do is to type the words nasa giovanni on your browser after launching your browser all right uh, you can use any type of browser you can use Yandex, you can use Opera Mini, you can use uh, Microsoft Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and so on and so forth, and do what and download your data. So type NASA Giovanni. And click search or enter. Then once you see NASA Giovanni, you see the options below it, just click on NASA Giovanni. All right, guys, you are on the NASA Giovanni page. You can see there are a whole lot of data. Uh, data you can download we have aerosols atmospheric chemistry atmospheric dynamics the cryosphere we have the hydrology we have ocean biology oceanography water and energy cycle and so on and so forth all right then you have this welcome to giovanni page all you need to do is to do what is to click on login first go to login and click now you must have an account this is the reason why you click on login if you want to start using this website for the first time to download data and to you know consult a lot of materials all you need to do is to do what is to register so instead of clicking on login here you click on register then you can type out all the credentials that you need to create your your login user id or right or your login information will be created by the information you're going to be supplying like your username choose a username your password and also confirm your password so there are criterias for choosing of username required fields user name must it must be a minimum of four characters be a maximum of 30 characters use letters numbers periods and underscores not contain any blank spaces not begin end or contain two consecutive special characters then we have the criteria for choosing a password your password must be minimum of eight characters one uppercase letter one lowercase letter one number all right at least all right guys i'll be typing my username very simple moses j1 it contains letters and a number once i'm done i will go to my password as i've just done now i'll go to my password 
and type out the password characters. I'll make sure that the first letter is an uppercase or capital letter, followed by small letters and numbers. Then I'll confirm it. I will repeat the same password. And you see the other information, user information. You have your first name. You can enter your first name. Then your middle name. Then your last name. Then your email. Then you scroll down, you choose your country. The country you are working or you will be downloading your data from. Not necessarily meaning that the data will have to be limited to your country. All right. You can choose your country of residence or the country you hail from. All right. Your country of origin or country of residence. So you choose your country. Then affiliations, your affiliations, the data you're downloading, are you going to be using it to carry out analysis for the government? Is it commercial? Is it for educational papers? Is it non-profit or other? So you can choose any option, all right? Then you choose your user type. All right, the user type is it production user, science team, question and answer testing user, data provider internal user, public user, or application. You can choose any of the options. then you can choose your study area all right you can choose uh we have sc interaction atmospheric aerosols we have atmospheric composition biogeochemical dynamics biological oceanography we have clouds we have cryospheric studies we have geophysics we have global biosphere we have human dimensions of global change we have hydrologic cycle we have land processes physical oceanography we have polar processes we have radiation budgets we have sea ice we have tropospheric chemistry upper atmosphere composition upper atmosphere dynamics and others you can choose any of the area all right you can choose any of the area all right or you may choose others all right are you a member of an organization if you are a member of an organization then you can go ahead and type out the name of the organization all right if you are not the member of an organization or if you are not downloading this data for the purpose of using in another organization then you may do what you may ignore that option except otherwise then you sign the agreement all right please notify me via email with important information about eosdis science data products eg updates new data releases quality issues and so on and so forth then you can sign if you are interested all right if you're interested you check this box then you do what you scroll down down you read the agreement general conditions for the utilization of esa eo data 
definitions and so on and so forth if you're finished reading it you can sign the yes i agree then you scroll down then you see the license agreement you retreat and click on the box you can check on the box all right then you sign the agreement once you're done you can click on this capture that says i am not a robot all right nasa giovanni wants to make uh, nasa giovanni wants to ensure that they are not dealing with a robot all right then you can click on register for add data login so then wait for the next page to display all right all right guys so we'll try to log in now all right so all i need to do is to click on login So once you click on login, this page will display, then you view the page, all right, that's the end user license agreement. You click the page and click on agree. And you'll be logged in. All right, guys, so i'm logged in now by my user name so using any computer in any part of the world i don't have to do what create another account for the purpose of downloading any form of data from nasa giovanni all right once you're logged in you're going to see your name your username by the top right where it says feedback help and log out you see your name all right once you're done you can log out just click here and you'll be logged out now let's maneuver this website this is a beautiful website for scientists especially space scientists so right so if you want to start any form of downloads all you need to do is to always remember the time that's the start and the end date of the data that's the range these are utc all right it says select data range the data will start from a particular year to a particular year then you can select region all right there is always that region all right in which you are downloading the data from or which you want the data to cover there must always be that special location that your data is covering that's the meaning of this region all right then you can look by this site it says time average map Averaged map, you can click on it if you are looking for such. All right, then you have the select variables. Under variables, you have observations, you have disciplines, and so on and so forth. Your observation is it on model 1260 or 744 then the disciplines are the disciplines i mentioned from the beginning of the video aerosols there you have atmospheric chemistry atmospheric dynamics the cryosphere hydrology ocean biology oceanography water and energy cycle then you have measurements all right then under it you have platform that's the instrument you have special 
resolution i did not explain measurement because you may be you should understand measurement what kind of measurements all right then platform instrument special resolution maybe you have a little bit of uh, uh maybe you don't really understand what a special resolution is it may be the size of their covered per square kilometer or per kilometer or and so on and so forth all right it's just the little space it, it, when you look at a picture you and you highlight an image for instance or a picture you see some boxes is trying to tell you the size of information captured space that's what we call spatial resolution then you have temporal resolution you have wavelengths what type of wavelength you have depth if you're dealing with depth then you have other spatial features and you have the power all right or you may want to plot there once you enter all the information you may go ahead and plot your data if you want to plot the data or you enter the word or you download the data enter the information and download the data remember from the beginning of the video i said we are not downloading a particular data that we are doing what we are just learning how to download data from nasa giovanni if we are to download a data say aerosol data for instance we may just say then how to download aerosol data from nasa giovanni all right but this one is how to download data from nasa giovanni so it's kind of general all right so once you're done you can click on log out all right so if this video was helpful guys please and um, please locate uh please and um, please uh subscribe to machine our channel for more uploads thank you